Alright guys, I just got a new daily driver, it's pretty exciting, it is a beater and it has lots of miles in it, but after some minor maintenance it will run and I think it will run for a while now. Here's the little beater in question, it's a Volkswagen 95 GTI VR6, 5 speed manual, uh, it has lots of use and abuse but i did fix a few minor things in it and it runs like a champ right now i'm actually gonna take it for a ride so here's the inside of uh vr6 as you can see it came with a very fancy grand gt steering wheel probably because race car uh let's see gentle 236,000 miles i uh, just also installed a cd player in it just so you get some tunes uh, wiring was hell. Actually, uh, rear speaker wires were connected to windshield wiper. I don't know why, but uh, oh well, got that fixed. And as you can see, this fancy steering wheel actually missing a, a proper hub. So I kind of had to disassemble it, reassemble it. Kind of straining that, but still gonna need lots of work. Ah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And this is one of those models that doesn't have a glove box, which sucks. Because I love putting a bunch of shit in the car. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So far, everything works, sunroof works, uh, uh, wipe, uh, the windshield wipers kind of work. I mean, the, at least the passenger one works time to time, but it's okay, it's all fixable. So hey, let's start it up, let's hear this be strong. There we go. little bit uh, quick connection on the battery but the battery previous owner I think I uh, got it from a junkyard because it actually has a junkyard sticker on it so yeah the battery definitely not too great but hey it starts works runs I'll be fine all right let's see if this bad boy has any power left on it whatsoever I'm not really gonna rally it or anything like that I just do a little pull maybe floor it once or twice see how it pulls because yeah so far I've just been driving it literally as a daily driver I haven't really uh, stepped on it whatsoever so let's see inside of the engine actually raise the compression that's what might be actually uh, making it so peppy because it does have air intake in it but that doesn't really add much power I mean in VR6 air intake if it adds 5 horsepower you're a lucky guy or girl so now I'm gonna see how it pulls uphill on the second gear let's see if it has any left Second gear, 2000 RPM, go. And we're uphill, pretty high uphill too. Well, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, after 10 miles of somewhat spirited driving, it still idles fine. It does not overheating at all. I mean, the temperature level is right on, but remember, it does have all of the new hoses, a uh, new radiator, and new thermostat in it. Um, you can feel lots of vibration and that's actually, uh, that's not me shaking, that's actually uh, my camera shaking uh, because it's rested on a steering uh, column and that's how bad the mounts are in it. So the mounts are pretty much shut for the motor and for the transmission. Um, but yeah, other than that, a uh, very, very, very decent little car, especially for, you know, uh, <laughs> anything under $1,500 that you can pick up, make it run and make it a good daily driver, why not? I mean, shit, especially with gas being so cheap these days, you can get a little VR6 like I did and have fun while still probably getting around 20 miles to a gallon. Yeah, and it's a, a very fun little car to drive. 